Right, good afternoon. It's uh, it's the end of January now, and um, we're finally back out fishing. Down here on the X Estuary, uh, we're going to fish a couple of hours on the flood and a couple of hours on the ebb, so we'll be fishing into darkness. Uh, I've got with me a, a pound of lugworm, which I dug the other day, so we're hopefully after some uh, some bass and, um, and flounder. So, uh, rods are all set up, all I've got to do is bait up and uh, chuck out and um, sit back and see what happens. All right, there's the, uh, there's a pound of lugworm I've got there. I've also got some frozen mackerel, but uh, I might use that to tip off, but I don't think so. Um, that should last me four hours. All right, set up. So I've got my, uh, I've got my estuary rods here, which are 12 foot six and rated uh, two to six ounce, um, but the optimum casting is a, a four ounce. I've got 19 pound uh, main line and I've got uh, 50 pound of shock leader. Uh, two different setups. On one rig I'm using uh, a running ledger, so that's my shock leader. Uh, and uh, I've got my weight on the swivel, a couple of beads, quick link, and then down to my trace line. Um, I'm using for this one, I'm going to be using a 2.0 on the bottom and a, a, a 1.0 for, uh, for a panel on the top. Because um, I'm using like two, maybe three or four lugworm, uh, I like to keep them, you know, instead of bunching up, I can keep them spaced out a little bit. The other rig is just a basic one up, one down flapper. And um, on that rig, I've got a size 1.0 on the bottom and I've got a size 4.0 um, on the top, sorry, a 4.0, a size 4 um, on the top again for panel because again if I just use the one um, I can have the one bit of lugworm, have it um, straightened out or maybe two or maybe three, depends what it is. Sometimes I use beads but um, today that's that's the setup that I'm going to use. So let's get some bait on here. Um, so you know, maybe whack on two or three maybe on the first cast, some nice big ones here. Right, fishing what the uh, two hours into the flood. Um, I, sometimes I, I'll get a rush of fish on the flood and sometimes I get a rush of fish on the ebb, so I can't really say there's any difference between the flood and the ebb. Um, so that's one bait, that's the running ledger. And the other one, I'll put, again, I'll put a couple on there. About a pound of lugworm will, uh, will last me about four hours of fishing. Um, obviously it just depends how many I'm going to put on the hook. Generally I like to put at least two on the hook. So we'll get this out. As always with the panel, a couple of wraps. There you go, There's plenty of juice coming off all that lot. I'll change the baits probably about every every 20 minutes or so. Um, obviously I'll I'll give them a I'll give them a whack out and then see um, if there's anything stripping the baits quickly. Normally it's not too bad up here. It's when you fish further down the estuary, towards the sort of a estuary mouth or something, there's a lot more crabs around the area. I won't use lugworm then, I'll just use peeler crabs, but I prefer using lugworm up here. Right, so that's all ready to cast out. I got five two fives on here. Uh, I just I keep the mag set at halfway. I'm not off the distance here. Just basically a lob out. There you go. 
Alright, that's one. So we'll set the drag, just in case some nice big uh, double figure bass picks it up. Alright, that's the next one. Exactly the same. I was I was gonna fish further up the estuary, but uh, in a mark um, uh, where I'd fished before, it's uh, oh I've got a tap on that rod. That's it. First cast, little tap. Let's see what we got. Oh yeah. <laughs> Yeah, like I said, I was going to fish further up, but uh, it's a local Exmouth. I see him jumping in the water there. Keep tension on. Local Exmouth, you, uh, you wouldn't be able to see the fish jump out of the water there, small little bass. I'm going to get hooked up into the, in the weed here. Yeah, it's a local. Um, It's a local, um, I get my words out, I'm try, trying to concentrate on this. It's a local angling, they've got a month long um, uh, flounder competition, so I knew that mark would be, I knew that mark would be um, busy. But anyway, look, is this gonna be first cast? First cast and a lovely bass there. Look at that. Nicely hooked right in the corner of the mouth. Alright, first cast and into a nice bass again. It's quite a chunky one this one, so again he's about it's about three pound or so. Uh, maybe a bit heavier. So first cast on the lugworm. Um, yeah, it just cast out. I didn't have time to sit down and sort everything else. So uh, uh, hopefully um, this session will carry on like that. Um, see if we can get something over five pound. That'll be the I would chuff with that. But anyway, first cast, nice bass. Let's get them put back. I should be able to see this because the sun's right in my face. He'll swim off straight away, I reckon. There he goes. Can't see it, unfortunately, the water's too murky. Right, bait up and uh, back on it. Right, there you go, first cast, and that was on the running ledger rig. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep those on there. Top up with another one. That's a bit blown up. Love using lugworm, put plenty of scent in the water, but they do they dry out quite. Yeah, I don't keep them in any longer than 20 minutes. Yeah. Right. Oh, 
we go. There we go, on that rod as well. That's a nice little, nice little pull down. Well, well, I haven't had time to do anything yet. I'm cast out, bait up, catch fish, cast out, bait out, catch another fish. So this one's slightly smaller. Um, but still, um, it's good to see. So hopefully as, as we're fishing on the on the ebb, when it gets darker, we'll get some of in the five pound region. But anyway, let's get this one back as quickly as we can. line bite but I think that is possibly weed nope that's a fish oh that's a nice one as well yeah slightly better hopefully this will be I can't see, the sun's right in my eyes. <laughs> it's moving along like a, like a smooth hound. This is where you could hopefully have someone with you. Oh, that's a bit better. Get some slack line out of there. Get that one. Hopefully that other rod ain't going to go. It's, pounce, it's pouncing. There's something on the other rod as well. I'll leave that. Right. Now that is a bit of fish. Nicely hooked, right in the corner of the mouth, on the on the, on the little on the hook. That's a bit better, isn't it? So this one it is is obviously the biggest one so far. I didn't say he's quite a five pound mark yet, but uh, uh, nice to get uh, three bass in a row. Um, so we've got about an hour yet before high tide. Um, so let's get this one put back and. Uh, and crack it on. Happy days. Right, just as soon as I baited that cast out, another slack line bite. The other rod's going as well. Are we in? Can't tell if I'm over that line or not. That one's gone slack. Oh, and the bass. It's a bit hectic at the moment. That's bass number five. They all seem to be between the around about the three three pound mark. I've won about sort of four-ish pound. Um, it's, just have, just haven't had time to sit down and have a cup of tea yet. We've got another, what, I've got about an hour now before high tide. So, um, this way I'm going to run out of bait. But anyway, let's get this one put back quickly. Oh, I tell you what, I've never, never had so many bass. Well, I have, but uh, smaller ones, but 
nice to get a stamp of uh, some decent sized ones uh, slack line bites bit of a little bit of a screaming reel um, so yeah so um, hopefully into darkness we'll get that one that's going to be over five pounds anyway time to reorganize myself sort my stuff out and uh, crack on All right, well the sun's setting now, you can't really see it behind the clouds there. That's towards the powder and way. Um, so it's been um, a hectic first few hours. Um, it's time now, 16.41, we've got another half hour or so before the um, before high tide. Um, so it's the first time I've had a chance to sit down and have a, have a cup of tea. Yeah, it's not too good, so what's that, that's four or five bass I've had so far. Um, yeah, all around the sort of the, the three pound, maybe one, sort of the four pound mark. Um, so, uh, gone through quite a bit of bait actually, but I think I've got enough of the last one. I've got a mackerel, frozen mackerel here to um, some strips I can put on like, but um, I tend to just like using the lug worm as it is. Um, so yeah, so it's getting a bit chilly. So in a minute, I'll put my coat on and uh, Fire up the old uh, North Star Lantern. Um, we just had a couple more bass. Um, again, they're only sort of like smallish, um, but it's nice to get a few. Uh, right, so we've got uh, probably about another couple of hours or so um, and we'll keep plugging away and hopefully um, that £5 plus one will, will turn up. But plenty of action, plenty of bass out there at the moment and um, great on the light gear as well. Anyway, I'll get this one back as quickly as I can and uh, bait up, cast out and crack on. Right, so um, they're all, all nicely hooked right on the, on the lip. Um, that's why I like using the, um, the panel, especially with um, the top hook I'm using on the, the um, two hook flapper is a size four drop shot, drop, drop shot hook. And that uh, more or less every time it's, it's always in the, in the corner of the, of the mouth there. Anyway, um, on the other one, the other rig I'm using, which is running ledger, I mean, I've just had just as much success on that. Um, so uh, between the two, the two of them, I, could, I couldn't say one rig was better than the other. You I mean, I've got you know, three or four on the running ledger, maybe a couple on the, um, or three on the um, two hook flapper rig. Um, what I think does it out here is the bait. Plenty of fresh, uh, fresh blow lug, nice big scent going out there. Um, and that's what they seem to like. Anyway, um, I've just got my lantern going, keeping my hands warm. You can see that, old trusty North Star. So that keeps, uh, that keeps me snug. Um, it's nice to warm my hands up or stick my feet next to it. Fuel for that is quite, uh, quite I don't use unleaded, I mean, but I, I've had North Stars for, um, and, and Coldmore ones for years. I, when I first started using them, I did use uh, the unleaded, but um, they don't last long with unleaded. So what I use is, um, is the pure fuel, which, um, which I get from the uh, machineries, um, the uh, lawnmower shops, shops, which is used uh, for the clean fuel for the lawnmowers and strimmers and such. Um, it's called their uh, Aspen 4, or Blue 4. Um, and it's, it's for five litres, it's 20 quid. It's, for the years I've been using it, it's, 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 it burns clean, so there's no smoke. There's no clogging up of all the, the pipes and bits and bobs in the actual um, lanterns themselves. 
So, um, so they've lasted me for years. And the price of the fuel never goes up for 20 quid odd for, for five litres so over the last five years. It hasn't, hasn't maybe on 50p here. So, um, but last time I bought five litres of that just before Christmas it was about 19 pounds something. Um, anyway, I've, I've had a cup of tea. I've had a, a bit of a stale um, chocolate croissant, but uh, um, all ready to go. So I'm just going to re-rig re that other one. Well, not re-rig, re-bait up that um, one. I just, uh, um, that, that last uh, rig, and uh, chuck that one out and um, take it from there. All right. Uh, <sighs> Got a six pound bass. Just a, just just over six pounds so uh so there you go so missions accomplished yeah i wanted some over five pounds got this one over six pounds six pound two i think something like that all right it was uh tough getting it in because uh it was snagged around a load of weed so i had to be careful with that one anyway uh nice to get some over the five pound which i wanted so but uh, we've got about another hour or so fish left of fishing, so let's get uh, let's get this one put back uh, as soon as I can. Hopefully, you recover. Should do, no problems, and um, carry on. Anyway, happy days. All right, bass number seven. So uh, uh, it's it's been a hectic session, good session. We've had the uh, we've had the bass over five pound, six pound two. Um, coming to the end of the session now. Got a little bit of lug on left, but um, I think I'll save that for another day. Um, so we'll get this one put back. Maybe one more cast out and uh, call it a day. But uh, let's get this one put back first, anyway. Right, so it's, uh, there's plenty of bass. Yeah, between the three pound and six pound mark. Um, so uh, overall, it's been a it's been a good session. Um, right, well, as you can see from the intro, I've just uh, had a bit of a revamp of the channel, um, and uh, I'm actually my nickname's Ted Green. That's what. I, um, was known as in the army, even though my first name's Greg, but uh, I go by Ted Green. Um, so uh, yeah, so from now it's just going to be uh, Ted Green beach fishing. Um, hopefully I'll uh, get my finger out and do a few more videos. Um, we've got a few things lined up, you know, maybe up to the channel or up to uh, up over to Chesil. But uh, as we're going into February, things obviously are going to get a little bit difficult. So. Um, it's only going to be a few weeks and uh, we'll start uh, chasing the place, especially locally. Um, and then we get a few places uh, locally, either down at Western or at Budley. Anyway, thanks for watching and um, if you've given us a thumbs up, cheers. Um, if you've uh, you know, subscribed to my channel, even better. So uh, we'll see you again. Cheers. Mm -hmm.